It's that time of the year when the real Dallas meets its screen counterpart, when Lorimar Productions descend on the city for the annual location shoot. All the interiors are shot on the huge sets, built especially for the show in Hollywood. But some things are easier to shoot in real locations. So every year the cast and crew head out to North Central Texas and spend two months filming in the city that has come to love basking in the illusions created by the show. It's not unusual for passers-by on their way to work to happen upon scenes just like this one, where Sue Allen and her lawyer congratulate each other after she's been granted her divorce at the Dallas County Courthouse. What's that? What divorce? Aha! Uh -huh. That's just one of the surprises in this year's show. Although, after she shocked JR last season, you must have guessed by now it wasn't exactly a perfect marriage. But wait, there's more. It seems that JR, while on a hunting trip with Bobby, comes across a simple country girl who turns out not to be as simple as he thinks, especially with two brothers who have their own idea of how the romance should turn out. And my character comes in uh, when they've gone out hunting all day and they come in with their game uh, to the restaurant lodge and they cook it up and I'm the waitress and I come up to their table and voila, and JR sees me and it's like bang. And, of course, like you know, doing. Yeah. And, um, so he sets his sights on me. He says, you know, I want her. And a relationship develops. And does she want J.R.? Oh, desperately. Well, at first, you know, she, she's, she's kind of cautious. Um, <coughs> she questions him. She says, okay, you have a son. Where's the wife? You know, so she's not, she just doesn't dive into to him she kind of is like a little wary um, but she's excited by JR because he kind of like goes after her with a vengeance and he like is so determined he knows he's gonna have her I mean that's just it and she's kind of excited by that fact that she, you know that he just there's no question he's gonna get her so um, like I said the relationship develops and and fun things happen. <laughs> fun and that's things right, happen. yeah. Fun things happen. <clears throat> oh, I, see. I mean, he gets himself in to sort of a predicament. Um, I have, my character has two um, older brothers that are very protective of her. And they kind of uh, keep an eye on JR, and he kind of gets himself in too much trouble. So it's, it's fun. It's a mm -hmm. fun storyline. This season sees the return of Lucy in the shape of Charlene well, Tilton. Um, Lucy and me, <laughs> we were out of the show for two and a half, almost three years. And during that time, I just chose to use it to do a lot of studying. Um, I did a lot of theater, a lot of stage work, a lot of plays, and um, just studied and studied. I know when I, when I first went in, I think they had reservations. They wanted an actress who had had more experience. But um, Leonard Katzman, our producer, told me, he said the minute I walked in, I was wearing like just jeans and suspenders or something and no makeup and I just kind of walked in and he said, I knew the minute you walked in that if you could walk and talk at the same time, you were it. And uh, it, was, it was on a, one of my good days, I was able to walk and talk at the same time. So <laughs> I can't always do it, but I did it that day, thank God. <laughs> Um, how do you feel when you go to other countries, sometimes languages that you might not even speak yourself and people know you? I tell you, that's Scotland. I did find it to be a foreign language. I kept saying, pardon me, pardon me. I couldn't understand anybody, anything anybody was saying. But of course, my husband is Scottish and it's the same thing when I talk to his parents. I, I'm always talking to his parents on the phone or whatever and I have a tough time there. Scottish brogue is quite thick. Where are they from? Mm, they're from Edinburgh, so, and, um, but I, I love traveling, and I love London. I could live in London, like, in a second. I could be over there and settled and happy very easily. Even with the weather? Oh, I love the weather in London. I know y'all think I'm crazy, but it's, uh, and you guys are so polite over there. Uh, you're always apologizing for your weather. <laughs> <laughs> but it's wonderful. It's, I love it. It's good for the skin. That's why the English women have the most beautiful skin of anyone in the world. They really do. Their skin is always so young and fresh and everyone has a nice rosy cheek. I love it. 
the show, being such an ensemble show, uh, you know, you have days off every now and again, and uh, it's not that bad. It really isn't. And I love my work. I love what I'm doing. It's like the days I work, oh, I'm like in seventh heaven. I'm just like, when I'm on the set, I, I just am like higher than a kite. I love it. All in all, Lorimar are promising more than a few surprises. This season is going to be a totally different Dallas. Um, the look of the show is going to be different. The characters, especially JR, are going to be put in a situations that they have never been in before. Um, JR is going to find himself, uh, for the first time in his life, in a, in a situation where his name and his money don't mean anything. Uh, it's just J.R. the man without the power of Ewing Oil or the Ewing Fortune behind him. Um, we're going out of the boardroom and, and back out on the range this year. It's going to be a much more action-oriented show um, than it has been. We've been too involved in business deals and, and um, offices. Mm -hmm.